All right, to the Glass Fay, the next dungeon that we've unlocked. So same plan as before, we just Gatling gun our way to victory, basically. Silver bullets here and there. So they look at them, they're pre-lined up for us. It's like they knew that we were coming in here as a gunner. They're like, yeah, we're going to line up for you nice and easy. All right, so we got some dark, uh, some dark attribute to us, shadow attacks, which is good against light. You know, they're teaching you about the various attributes and their weaknesses and whatnot right now. So pretty good early dungeons, pretty dang good early dungeons. I like them. They do, they suit their purpose. Bye bye, billion prism. And there go my silver bullets. For now, let's get more! Bam bam bam. I uh, accidentally Gatling gunned the wrong way there, that's why I only got the one guy. Where are you? We're gonna just clear our way through this area nice and easy. This is a bit of a bigger dungeon. Hey, there's the first appearance of a bug for us. Take that, Spark Rummer. Spark Rummer. That sounds like the name of like a uh, like a Mega Man boss or something, you know? Like Spark Mandrill. That's it. That's the. That's what it's like. It's like Spark Mandrill. Only a mandrill's an actual thing. It's a. It's a monkey. It's a type of ape. Oh yeah, you shoot electricity. Horrible burbola. I've been blinded. That's why the screen went dark like that. The screen goes dark like that. You get blinded. That's what happens. Oh, hey. Oh, she, she is dead. It looked like she wasn't dead there for a second. So you notice that the uh, the jackknife skill is not doing a whole lot of damage right now. But that's mainly because of uh, the type of damage that it does. The type of skill it is, I should say. And we'll take a look at that a little bit later on in our... Uh, Adventures. All right, we found the boss. He's right down here. Let's get him. Let's get him. We don't gotta mess with no one else. Just the boss. Come here, boss. I got some silver bullets with your name on it. Bam. And once we kill the boss, the whole room gets cleared, and they drop whatever drops they might have given. Which was apparently nothing. So as an experiment, let's hit a gold card. We got a use sha whatever. To cross, so not for us. Was it worth what we s checked it for? Slightly, yeah. It's a slight increase in gold. We got like 40 gold out of it. Big money. We got the big money out of it. 40 gold, baby. Alright, so the glass fade done. Defeat billion prism and lightning prism, and let's get monster slayers. Defeat 30 normal monster for the monster slayer title. Which we might replace our uh, Welcome to DFO title with. Because if you look at the Welcome to DFO title, it's plus one on everything, which is... It's okay and all, but... Like, what we want is we want some good strength increase, physical power increase for ourselves. And that's what that has. And we've reached level 10, so we've unlocked a bunch of new skills we can use. Oh, jeez. 
Oh, geez. I guess we can go ahead and... We can even get Leap if we want to. Not really. So if we go ahead and we take a look at Jack Spike, it's not going to do a lot for us because it is a percent damage skill and it is doing 120% of our physical damage plus 22. Our physical damage right now very low, so we're going to keep that at a low level. Right now what we want to level up is most things that either have incredibly high physical percent stuff, like Rising Shot, it's at 441 plus 172, or anything with base damage. The only reason Gatling Gun with low physical percent does so well is the base damage increase is nice, and the fact that it shoots a bunch of shots. 10 shots per second, man. So, let's go ahead. Windmill, we don't got the rising windmill, though. So this is maybe not going to get leveled. Barbecue, that's a knockout. That's a grab. We want one grab. Why not? Punisher? Sure, that's a grab too. Oh yeah, there's the steep slide. What this does is this pretty much adds launch to our slide attack. Or it's a slide attack with launch, basically. And aerial fire. This is, this is pretty cool. It lets you just sit in the air and shoot at your enemy. So I'm going to take Steep Slide off. I'll keep Aerial Fire. Aerial Fire I might actually use here and there. Steep Slide, not going to use it too much. Not not in PvE. Not in PvE. Alright, so let's apply these skills. And let's go ahead and we'll uh, put them in some places. Put like that? Sure, like that. Why not? And let's go ahead and we'll just jump on into this uh, this next quest, which is just uh, kill the Billion Prism and the Lightning Prism. No problem. No problem. Solid Ocelot continuing his quest. You'll notice the uh, casting animation for uh, Gunner stuff is really quick. Here, let's take a look at what this looks like. Oh, it's so cool. It's like Dante or something. Like a John Woo movie. Yeah! <laughs> Alright, so uh, our barbecue move, our BBQ move, isn't going to do a whole lot on these guys. We cannot launch them. It's unfortunate. So it's a move that's going to do nothing for us for most of the enemies that we're going to see. Oh well. Bam, 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 bam. Well, bam, miss, miss, miss. <laughs> Instead. Because that does a lot of good damage if it actually hits. Since they're all uh, grouped up that way, we're going to go ahead and use our, our circular skills, since they're all grouped in a circle, and then use our line skill once they're uh, all in a line like that. We'll pick up these bug parts for the... Uh, this is an event quest that may not exist for much longer as OBT1 will be over soon. Oh, whoops. I got I got to like lock that command. I hit downright X way too much. Either that or change the command. Wow, I'm surprised he survived the uh, the rising shot. I'm actually really surprised that the prism survived that. Boom, gunner bot. Down she goes, and now she will explode and disappear. That's pretty harsh. Making that. I, I don't know what to call her. Fairy creature? Just die and disappear like that. Oh, that's so good. So very good. Yeah, Windmill is a very powerful move. Especially through the early game. The early game, Gunner has a lot of good strong moves for themselves. Bang, bang, bang. Bang, bang. Bang, bang. 
I speak the language of Bang Bang. And there is another bug here, so we got more bug parts. Once we've got the ten, ten of each bug part, we will be able to uh, cash that quest in, and we'll get some, some healing items and some buff items. And they're not bad; they're actually pretty good items, pretty good usables. So it, it's good to just do whenever you got some, uh, whenever there's some event quests going on. It's really good to use them. And bam! Beast Slayer. Title obtained. Oh, we can level stuff up. We're going to level up the Gatling Gun, the Silver Bullets, the Land Runner, because we're using those all the time. Rising Shot, we're going to leave you there for now. Maybe we'll level you up some other time. Oh yeah, open title book. Equip Monster Slayer title. Yep, 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 yep. All that stuff. I, well, it's not equipped, but I've, I've opened the title book and I know where, my, where the Beast Slayer title is. And actually, yeah, we're going to equip that. I think it's going to be better for us than what we've got. Because we're not benefiting that much from 1% from critical hit, or 1% attack speed and cast speed, stuff like that. We're not benefiting that much for that, but we're going to benefit a lot more from strength plus 8, int plus 8, and uh, all that jazz. And what is it? You know, kill, kill the Trillium Prism in the Glass Fae. I guess we're gonna go kill the Trillium Prism. Should be easy. Oh no, they're all lined up! What will happen? Oh no, they got Gatling Gun! Bang, bang, bang. Oh, it's so nice that they just come pre lined up sometimes. Hey, and then we level up pretty quickly. This, uh,. This particular weekend, there is an event for two times experience going on right now, so we're leveling up extra fast, guys. We're doing it quick. We're doing it fast. We're gonna get, we're gonna get up to being a being a ranger pretty pretty quickly here, at the at the rate it's going right now. Oh, hey, shoot him! Oh, I must have hit him with my Gatling gun before I even came there. Before I even came there. Oh, well, we missed something. Oh, it's these guys. They're all grouped up in the, the one spots I wasn't hitting. It's really great that uh, Windmill is such a low cooldown. What is it? It is... 2.8 second cooldown. Oh, that's so good, considering we can just pop it off and do a bunch of damage as long as, it, as, long as all the hits connect. It pretty much kills anything here. Except maybe her. She might need just a little bit more persuasion to die. Yo, alright, there's our first rare item. Rare items are denoted by a purple name. And are generally... Are generally going to be pretty decent. They're not going to be amazing, but they're going to be good. They're going to be solid. Solid items for us to get. So we take a look at that as a plus six leather sash. We're going to go ahead and equip it. Yeah, we are. We're going to identify it, and then we equip it. When you identify, you unseal it. It becomes bound to you. So do make sure you don't just go identifying everything willy-nilly like that. Or unsealing it willy-nilly, at least. Oh no, whatever shall I do? Alright. We're gonna just bop him. Bop him. Alright, where is he? Darn. Come here, Trillium Prism. I've gotta end you. My silver bullets. Bang, bang, bang. I don't know why silver bullets are a damage increase against everything. I think it would just be against, like, beasts or something, but hey, I mean, I'm not going to knock it. I won't, I won't question having a damage increase on my auto, on my just regular attacks. Back to town. I should have actually disassembled that leather sash, but whatever. 
Complete. We'll have plenty of stuff to disassemble over over our journey. Succeed in ten counterattacks in a dungeon before clearing. Easy peasy. We'll do that in no time. Oh, collect an essence of the spirit. I got a bunch of them. Received devolved crystal fragments from Morgan. Alright, let's go talk to this dude. Talking to him is the way that we do this quest, apparently. Put that thing... Buy Morgan's crap. Hey guys. Hey guys. Let's see, what exactly are we buying again? Let's, let's take a double check. To buy Morgan's destruction crystal. Okay, easy peasy. Done! And now clear gl murky glass fade, the new area. Okay, skill, we're definitely leveling Windmill up because, hey, I mean, you saw it earlier, it it's crushing. It does so much damage because the base damage plus that it gets is plus 244. That's really high at low level. So we're going to increase that plus 273. We haven't really been using this that much, so we'll leave it at level 1. Same with Punisher. We haven't really been using this that much either, but, eh. Eh, we'll level it up. I feel like it. I just feel like it. And there's no reason to not use level ups when we've got them at this low level. And considering we can uh, undo any levels we get anytime we want, it's very good. Alright, Murky Glass Fay. This is our newly unlocked area. Let's go in there. Let's kick some ass. Oh, nope. One more guy. One more knight armor. So as you can see, this is the Shadow Dark Element area, although there's still these rummers going around, even though they look like they're from the light area. They still show up here. I mean, I, I, I don't know. Far be it for me to question where they want to hang out. So what I just did there is I used super armor to prevent them from hit-stunning me and allow my hit to go through. Super armor, some moves have, some moves do not. You will glow a yellow, you will flash yellow and red whenever you use super armor or whenever anyone else uses super armor. Bosses can do so too, other players can do so too. And when you do, you are immune to stuff like hit stun and whatnot, so it's good to know which skills will give you that benefit. Oh hey, I never equipped my new stuff. That's a damage increase. That's better than what I got. That's better than what I got. That's better than what I got. And that's better than the nothing that I got. Should remember to do that in the first place. Now these guys should die in one of these. One windmill, yeah. Very nice. Very nice. As always, just going straight for the boss as long as uh, that's where. As long as that's my quest. Oh! These guys have no. They got no legs, so I can't use my uh, dash attack on them. The floating knight armors. Oh, hey! Dingles again! Bleak Dingles. The Dingles apparently were not satisfied. They were not happy with what I was doing earlier, so they, they're like, Hey, we want revenge, but they can't get revenge on me. Look how tall I am. I could just step on them and they'd die. In fact, come here. I'm going to step on you. <laughs> That's such a cruel attack. Breaking crystals, because I can. Alright, where's our gate? Right here. Here we go. And we're just going to let them come to us, because... I mean, there's no reason to go to them if they're going to come to us. But uh, I guess these guys aren't coming to us. Come here, guys. 
Oh, we got some lag going on. The servers are a little bit laggy today because there's they're seeing a lot of traffic, which is good. It's good that the servers are getting laggy because they're seeing a lot of traffic. Because we want them to see a lot of traffic. It means the game's gonna... As long as the game's gaming popularity, it means it should survive and thrive and all the... And all that good stuff. Dingle dingle. Alright, we got the right pathway. To get to the boss, so... Bang 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 bang. God, that does so much damage. Alright, there's someone over here not playing not playing by the rules, just sitting back and let, watching his friends die. What a what a nerd. Two dark rummers, oh man. Whatever shall I do? Oh wait. I can just uh I can just run back here and fire the Gatling gun at him. Oh, it does so much damage. It's so very powerful. Oh no, and now I'm on fire! Oh no, whatever shall I do? Yeah, that's cool. Let's see, how do I want to end this? How about like this? <laughs> Put my foot on his face, kick him to the ground, and shoot him in the head. That's a pretty cool guy way to end it, right? Yeah. Alright, let's see. We've got some blues to disenchant. There's a white one to sell, and we're going back to town. Turn on turn in these quests. Ooh, that's a that's an upgrade to our shoulder equipment. That's nice. And we did get ten counterattacks, because we are great. We're awesome, we're amazing, we're beautiful. And don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Oh, I kind I kind of want to level this up just because it's so cool. <laughs> it's such a cool move. I have to level it up. I'm obligated. All right, so we're gonna equip this new leather pad. Oh, this new ring. This is better than what we had before. So let's equip it. Bam. Yeah, I want to unseal it and equip it. So now let's find a disassembler that's nice and cheap. In fact, every uh, every zone right next to one has this Arab portable repair machine which has a disassemble function with it. So if we do that and we hold control, we can disassemble multiple things. We'll disassemble everything there available to us. And we got some basic fragments. We didn't get anything major. We just got one of each chromatic. And some low-grade elemental crystal for disassembling a rare. Which is what the one with the purple name. To reiterate that. Bang, 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 bang. Alright, so I think this is going to be the final run on this place before we move on to the, the next dungeon. So... So it shouldn't take too terribly long, that's for sure. That's for darn sure. We're just gonna shoot him up. Bump him and thump him. They are not lined up as much as I wish they were. But easy enough. They're close enough. Hey, Dark Rummer. Get wrecked! That is such a cool move. It really is. 
Gunner does have a lot of flashy, cool-looking skills. Ain't that right, Dingly Dingle? It's a dingly dangly doodly. It's like Ned Flanders. Counter. Oh. So that's one thing about this uh, this early game area is it does make you run these dungeons maybe one too many times. Maybe one too. Many without any real difference from the first one to the last one. You guys are getting black, black, and glowed. Black, 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 black. Remember guys, that is the sound effect of a gun shooting. Black, 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 black. Unless it is like a shotgun and then goes glow. These are our sound effects, ladies and gentlemen. Goodbye, Dingly Dingle and Night Armor. Oh, that's unfortunate. But they're in perfect area to windmill. Nice, close, little circular proximity to each other. Makes makes my job easy. You're gonna get exploded on, so... Oh, the robot missed! You dumb robot! What a dumb robot. How dare he miss. How dare he miss his target, dumb robot. Pa 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 pow! That's so cool. And done. All right, we're getting close to winding down in this first area. We'll be done with that relatively shortly. We're making some quick progress, guys. Some pretty dang quick progress. All right, so we're going to go ahead and disassemble both of those. They are both blues. That means they will give us color cubes. And we want to get a lot of color cubes built up on our, uh, on our pathway because look at this. See that? Saria wants pretty cubes. We need to get the pretty color cubes for Saria. We're just going to keep putting levels in what I've been putting levels in. Steep slide, that's something we'll be leveling at some point eventually. Uh, for PvP, it's very useful. Very useful to have for PvP. PV, it's, uh, it's okay. It's alright. Yo, that's strength plus 16. That's not bad. Attack speed plus 1%. That's not bad at all. In fact, let me take a look. How many of you are actually magical attacks? Physical, 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 physical. There's magical. There's physical. Mainly physical, but we got it. We got a decent enough mix that we'll just go with what we've got. We'll keep the Beast Slayer title. Alright, disassembler right here. We're going to disassemble these three. Bop, bop, bop. Get some more chromatic cubes for us. Three white cubes. Okay. Three more white cubes for us. Oh, we aren't done with the Murky Glass Fae yet. Looks like we got one more. And what what is it? Just defeat Dark and Dark Lex. Alright, we can do that. We've already done it like three times. Let's do it a fourth. Bring it. Bring it. 